Yeah, Alex, you all set? Speed. Yeah, I think he said hang on. No, oh, you said okay? Yeah. You're, you're a wonderful guy, Alex. <laughs> remember, uh, the yeah, remember, just you know, look at me the whole time. Look at you, not at the camera. Right. Yeah. Huh. You speed? Is there okay, any? Okay, great. Uh, just start off with some basics. If you can tell me okay. your name, okay. how you spell it, and what you would like your title to be. Okay, I'm, I'm Ted Selker, and Dude, I work at... Do you like Ted or Edwin? I'm not Edwin. Oh, okay. I am not I just, Edwin Selker. I just looked up I, I am I am not Edwin <laughs> Selker. Would you? <laughs> and Edwin. <laughs> I'm Ted Selker, and I work at IBM T.J. Watson Research Center in the Math Sciences Department. And uh, what I want to tell you about is okay, some more. Before I forget, do you just like your title to be researcher or? Oh, uh, I'm a member of research staff. Okay. Okay. And I work uh, of IBM T.J. Watson Research Center, and my name's spelled S-E-L-K-E-R. And the work I want to be telling you about today concerns the pointing stick, which is a device that I've been working with Joe Rutledge, um, that's R-U-T-L-E-D-G-E, -E, uh, on for the last three or four years. And this actually is a follow-on of some work that I started back when I was in Stanford University, actually. But in any case, what we're talking about is trying to figure out how to get the mouse off the desk. The mouse takes up space. The mouse um, is, is a clumsy item when you have a laptop and, uh, in fact, isn't even usable uh, in many situations, such as when you're on an on a airplane. And so we started thinking about ways to improve on the mouse and ways to replace it. Now, to replace it, we had this idea of putting it on the keyboard. But, in fact, we thought about how dexterous the finger is. And we started thinking about how to use the uh, keyboard uh, um, to include a pointing device. We tried putting it underneath the J key and wiggling the J. The trouble is there's a context switch and you've got to have a mode lock, something like, like num lock or something, and it gets confusing. So we started thinking about um, how to put it other places around. And we found that the best place to put it for getting an ambidextrous pointing device was between the two hands, between the G and the H keys. And by doing that, we eliminated the one and three quarters seconds that it takes to go over to the mouse and back from keyboard uh, action to the mouse action. By doing that, we, all, we found that we were able to save uh, one half of the time that it takes to make the first mouse selection, if you're selecting a menu while you're doing some typing or something. And um, so we've got this wonderful device between the hands, and we've been working for the last three years to try to understand how to make this device good. Now, we had to put the, the one of the reasons we selected this place is because then we're able to put uh, mouse buttons below the space bar. Either hand can reach it just as easily, so it's this ambidextrous uh, dextre situation. Another thing that we had to understand is joysticks had never been very fast compared to mice. Mice are incredibly fast at pointing. And the thing that people had always found about joysticks is when you try to go somewhere with a forced velocity joystick, you kind of overshoot. And then you have to come back and slowly and carefully put it to the right place. And we found that it wasn't as we had thought and as papers as, late, as, as early as the 1890s had described this phenomenon. Of, I call it the golf, golfing phenomenon because you kind of go and then you putt. Uh, I thought it was in the physiology of a person. It just felt that visceral. What we found and we patented is a way to get rid of that problem. By decreasing the top speed that you normally point at to the speed that your eye can track on the screen, we were able to increase the speed of the, of, the, um, of the pointing device significantly. Adding to that a few other ideas, including making it go at a, con uh, at a predictable slow speed when you're doing accurate selection instead of a, uh, a shakily varying one, and allowing you to go into a phase where you move very quickly, very easily, allowing you to go across the whole screen in 16 milliseconds, we were able to make this device go 30 to 50 percent faster than, than a mouse um, on straight pointing uh, tasks uh, not than a mouse, than a, joyst than a normal joystick for, for straight pointing uh, tasks. Um, and and uh, that, that we have a patent pending on. We also have a patent pending on the idea of putting a pointing device um, on the keyboard surface. Uh, okay, what well, else? Let, me, let me take you to a few things. So all the, the pointing sticks are now 
being built here, here, right? All the prototypes? All of the prototypes. We have built 100 prototypes or so. And we have them uh, for the RS6000. We have prototypes for the PS2. And we have prototypes for uh, some laptop computers that, have, um, that um, we've been experimenting with. Okay. Well, what, what stage are you at now in terms of trying to bring this product to ah, market? Okay, we've been working with several uh, several people. We are working with the design center, and uh, they they decide what uh, things should look like and feel like that IBM makes, and they love it. We've been working with Boca Raton in terms of putting it into the PS2, and they are considering it uh, in the next few weeks. Actually, I shouldn't probably mention that, but we we are working with Austin, Texas, and they are thinking about putting it into the R6000 keyboard. Um, and we are also working with the Yamato Japan, uh, uh, um, IBM Japan uh, labs in Yamato, uh, to think about putting it into some of the laptop products that we are uh, creating there. OK, now, let me play devil's advocate if I can. Please. How is your product better than, let's say, some of the other products that we've recently seen, where it could be a, a trackball, a rollerball, if you will, on sure. a keyboard, or sure. a few of those? Sure. Why is yours better? Yeah. Well, uh, the main, you know, the, the whole idea of, of uh, worrying about getting the pointing device uh, closer to the person's uh, working situation is the reason that people use trackballs sometimes. Trackballs, it turns out, um, for a small selection, uh, a couple pixel selection, they take like five seconds. Ours takes three. Okay, ours is faster than a trackball that you might have next to your keyboard. So people have thought, gosh, you know, the best idea they can have about a device that doesn't move around. Uh, the mouse moves around. So they thought, oh, I can make a trackball. And maybe sometimes it might be nice to put it in a keyboard so that it's not floating on your desk and taking up space. But when people have done that, they find you know, uh, they, they have the same device. I mean, uh, our device is just faster than, than the trackball. Um, so that, that, that's, one, that's one of the, the possible alternatives. There are other alternatives that people have, have uh, tried. And they are all slower. I mean, that, ours is faster. Plus, it's ambidextrous. None of the others are ambidextrous. And these clip-on things um, are also a little bit cumbersome for bringing around. They are better. I mean, I have to say, they are better than not having a pointing device. And that is why they are getting so much airplay. And I wish all of the, you know, I wish them all well. But I would prefer it, of course, if people had the better device and the quicker, the quicker pointing selection uh, that, that, that the pointing stick offers. OK, how about this? If you could address uh, this question now. If somebody's watching this and they say, why are you talking about a half second there, a second here? I mean, who really cares about a second, two seconds? Yeah. Well, you might ask, you know, who, who, who cares? But, but the fact is that in our tests of uh, a couple uh, months ago, we, we took people in a natural text editing situation where you're selecting some text and you're typing. And then you select some more text and you type. We were able to outperform the mouse in that kind of activity, 20% uh, faster for people that had just had a couple of hours of use. An expert that had a couple weeks only of use of the pointing stick and had used the mouse for 10, 15 years uh, was able to get 25% increase in speed with the pointing stick. That, you know, when you're spending all day text editing, that's a lot of time. Uh, and the speed is one of the advantages, sure. And in fact, maybe, maybe it's not. Uh, maybe you don't believe me. Maybe you think that, uh, that this thing isn't faster. I have a lot of things on my desk. And uh, the last thing I need is another thing that's on a place where I'd like to put a piece of paper. Right next to my, to my keyboard is, the pri is prime real estate, where I'd like some paper to look at, my telephone, my Coke, something. But here I've got this pad and this, and this mouse. And so I think that this, this is another reason to think about using a pointing stick. That's great. Uh, that was a really good answer. Um, how about for the laptop? Uh, if you could address the question also, the fact that many people use laptops in cramped spaces. How does yeah. it benefit them? Well, the laptop is just being used more and more. I mean, it's it's a wonderful thing to be able to take a laptop out into the, you know, into the world and sit sit you know sit at a, a, a table at a restaurant or something and do some work. And and the problem with the laptop is that all of the software that we are making and using today. You know, for graphics and even for you know spreadsheets, it requires cursors to be moved around. Cursor keys are very slow, so people want to use mice, and and the pointing stick is just an ideal uh, for this situation because because it sits in the keyboard, it takes nothing outside, 
and, and also because it, it has some performance advantages over the other things that you could think of using. Okay, now you were telling me before that you can use the, the pointing stick in conjunction with the mouse if you would like? Oh, well what, what's nice about what we've tried to do is in thinking about giving these out and thinking about trying to get people to try this technology, many people have been using mice for a long time. And so we included uh, some software in our implementation so that uh, if you plug uh, a mouse into the back of a keyboard or in the back of a laptop that we've built, um, it just becomes a mouse. And so you can use the mouse and the joystick plugged in at the same time. You, you wiggle the, the pointing stick and the cursor moves around. You wiggle the mouse and the pointing stick I mean, and, the, and the cursor moves around. But um, one of the, so, so, so this allows you to, to use both at the same time. If you're used to using the mouse and you reach for it, there it is while you're getting used to the pointing stick. Or if you just like it for some things, tasks that you'd rather not use the pointing stick for. Another, another thing that's nice about this implementation is that we've set it up so that you can plug in a mouse and unplug it while the computer's running. Most computers, if you, if you want to plug in or unplug a mouse, you have to shut down the computer and reboot from the very bottom. Mm -hmm. And I also hear that your uh, pointing stick has a non-skid surface. <laughs> yeah. Well, our, our, uh, our pointing stick uh, doesn't, doesn't need a mouse pad, obviously. But one of, the, one of the things that we have done is we put a nice uh, rubber top on it, which can be removed. And by removing it, uh, it kind of even gets it out of the way more. Uh, I will mention, in terms of this, uh, uh, this business of, of does this thing get in the way, it is between your hands. For normal typing, your hands never cross over between the G and the H key. So it isn't in the way. And in fact, uh, the studies done in Austin, Texas, by uh, other people uh, have found that people don't find uh, the, the pointing stick to get in their way during typing. Uh, but if, if you wanted to take it off, you can pull the, pull the top off and it becomes less, uh, less obtrusive. Hmm. So are, are you hoping, okay, let's say in your wildest dreams that in a few years that the mouse will be? Superseded by the pointing stick. Okay, so That's what be, I'm hoping. It's going to be an antique and uh, the pointing stick will simply be the only mode used. Well, you know, I would hope in the, my wildest dreams that the pointing stick would take over and the mouse would just become an antique uh, artifact. I mean, it is true that the mouse proves that people can, that, that man can draw with rock. I mean, it's a big, uh, cumbersome thing. Uh, however, uh, the mouse is still 5% or so faster than the pointing stick for, uh, for a mixture of pointing tasks where you are just doing pointing and no text entry. And in some sense, we continue to work and we continue to try to perform better than that. But the, the mouse is, is an extremely uh, high performance uh, pointing device. In fact, it, is, it, is, uh, it, it comes close to the speed that you can track things on the screen with your eyes. So it's, it's a very good device for some things. I don't know if you want to. But not for everything. No, no, not for everything at all, especially not, not I mean, what, what ours has the advantage of for is for th is for these uh, these the, the kind of natural activities that a computer has the idea that that you're w mixing typing and pointing tasks so that you're not you don't want to be getting controls that are all over the the, the world you want to be using controls that are that are that are right where your hands are and uh, for that reason we we perform very well. Okay, one last question. Uh, we we you kind of talked about it, but not uh, completely. In terms of concentration, you're concentrating on the screen. You don't want to look down and away. Talk about that a little bit, please. OK. Yes. As you're using a pointing device, you're, you're doing some task. Now, to reach over for, a, for a, a mouse, you reach over and you look over. And when you reach back to the, to the keyboard, you don't want to get your hands in the wrong place on the keyboard. You've got to look away. This is a context switch. More than the time that it takes you to go over and back from the mouse, there's actually a problem that, 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 is, that is just completely part of this, uh, this activity, which is you taking your mind and your eyes away from your work. And that is alleviated with the pointing stick that sits in the same position all the time. Beautiful. OK, stop tape. over and just with your right hand just maneuver the pointing stick back and forth a few times. That's great.
great. If you can even move your finger a little bit more to the right so you don't cover it up all the way, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah that's, that's it. Right. A little co come at it from the side. Just from the end. Exactly. Like Okay, should I start? I just you pick you it can up? start, actually hold it in your hand to start. You don't have okay. to pick it up. Okay. And, okay, go ahead. This circuit board uh, has a computer on it that creates the uh, pointing sticks mouse uh, characteristics and makes it act as though it is a mouse for a PS2 computer. Uh, it also has software that makes uh, the pointing stick be able to integrate uh, a mouse that is uh, plugged in, a normal PS2 mouse into the pointing stick. And uh, it has been uh, reduced in size for uh, another implementation which we uh, use on laptop computers. This is the same circuit, much smaller of course, and it only takes four milliamps so that it doesn't really affect the laptop's operation at all. Right here I have uh, the polycarbonate uh, pointing stick post. This is the same material that is inside of a um, uh, keyboard and is the frame of the keyboard. So I'm telling you that probably this could be molded into the keyboard. And what's interesting about this funny uh, piece of uh, flexible circuit board is that we've invented a new kind of sensor that can be installed on a polycarbonate uh, pointing stick as easily as pushing it on and uh, is very inexpensive so that it should make this thing to be, uh, th should make this thing uh, much cheaper than um, normal pointing devices. <laughs>